Really hope this goth phase ends soon. Lisa Frankenstein stars Catherine Newton, Lisa Soberano, Cole Sprouse, and is directed by Zelda Williams. And it's the story of Lisa Swallows, who is a social outcast trying to fit in at her new school. And after getting drugged and sexually assaulted at a party, she laments at the grave of a young man wishing they could be together. And a convenient bolt of plot lightning later, the young man is resurrected and the two gradually fall in love. All the while the creature murders the evil people in Lisa's life to steal their body parts and slowly become human again. Now, when I first saw the movie poster for this in the theaters, you know, when I'd go see other films, I kind of just, you know, shrugged it off, scoffed at it. It looked stupid. I mean, title like Lisa Frankenstein. Like, what the hell is that? But the trailer won me over a little bit. I was like, you know what? This looks like it could be a movie with some heart and some humor and some fun to it. So I'll give it a shot. And I'm glad I gave it that shot because it is a lot of fun and it does have a lot of heart. And it is a nice love letter to those 80s teeny bopper rom-coms that I grew up watching a lot when I was younger. But it's also like this amalgamation of a lot of dark humor and also has this sort of like Edward Scissorhands vibe to it. Like I said, I really dug it. I had a lot of fun with it. It's not perfect. It's a movie that's like almost there. Um, I'll get into what I feel are the shortcomings of this a little bit later. But first, I kind of want to talk up the praises that I have for this movie. Like, I love the look of this movie. Those of you who know me know my love for the 1980s. And even though this might be a sort of hyper-reality, hyper-romanticized version of what the 80s actually were, I don't care. I dig it. I love the boldness. I love the pops of color. I love all the hairstyles. It just, you know, gives me those warm fuzzies for a time that, you know, I grew up when I was really little. Like, I could still have memories of people dressing and acting this way, and I still have memories of a lot of the stuff they used in this movie. In my opinion, if you had shot this movie today with the same technology they used in the 80s, this probably could have fit right into any one of those weird, sort of obscure, quirky 80s comedies. I feel like it's that close to being the authentic thing. And to go along with that, Zelda Williams really knocks it out of the park with the direction. I haven't seen a lot of her work before. This is my first experience with her. And she does a great job. I don't have any nitpicks with the directing at all. I think the cinematography is really good. I love the choice of colors in certain scenes. It's just all good. And it's a far cry from the last couple films that I saw. I especially love the way she did her surreal sequences and a couple of the dream sequences from this movie. It had a certain flair and humor to it that I really, I really liked. But the real weight of this movie comes down to the performances by Catherine Newton and Cole Sprouse. The weight of this movie is carried on the back of their relationship, and they have such great chemistry with one another that I really do buy them as a couple, even if one is living and the other is dead. I like Catherine's character being this shy, eccentric girl stuck in a family with a father who's, you know, more or less mentally checked out, and a bitch for a stepmom. And this movie really is about her personal growth. It is a coming-of-age story, and it's about her kind of growing out of being this shy little girl and becoming this self-confident woman while of course also becoming a murderer and like i said cole sprouse is terrific he gives a very physical performance and i feel like he does a really good job of conveying his character's emotions all through body language all through physicality because he doesn't have a speaking word until the very end of this movie now, even though I do really like this movie, it does feel like it's missing a little bit of something to kind of push it over that edge and make it great. Now, there is some spotty pacing in the middle of this that can't be ignored. A lot of the comedy doesn't always stick, and there are some giant leaps in logic. Like, how exactly was he reanimated if the lightning bolt just struck his headstone? How can she communicate with him and understand what he's saying if all he's doing is grunting? And also, the corpse knowing how to drive? But again, this movie is about a young woman falling in love with a reanimated corpse. So if those little inconsistencies and leaps of logic are the least of my problems, 
I can roll with it and just go with the flow and enjoy the film. But my recommendation for Lisa Frankenstein is that it is worth checking out. This is definitely a good date night movie for you and your significant other. And I think you guys would get a lot of enjoyment out of it. But those were my thoughts on Lisa Frankenstein. And if you guys have seen it, what did you guys think of the movie? Uh, please post your comments below. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Adios. Now, GTFO!